Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I am going to do a restaurant review of this amazing vegan restaurant in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And yes, this is a full vegan restaurant because there's a lot of restaurants that offer vegan food that are not necessarily fully vegan, but this is one of many in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour around and then I'm gonna order some food and yeah, show you what I have ordered and speak a bit about the place then do a full review on the whole place and what I think of it. So this is the outside and it's a very cool little place. I really, really think it looks really, really amazing from what I've just seen. And I have this little hammock seat swing thing, I forgot what you call them exactly. But yeah, look, really, really nice. Loads of nature so you can sit outside as you can see here. Loads of different seat in areas and they have like a running water here as well which is really 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 nice and yeah we got this really cool little seating area i've just seen over here which is very beautiful and colorful and then yeah we're going to take a quick look inside as well but yeah so far it looks good we also got free water here as well they've got some lovely music going on that is not too dramatic and it's quite calming and if we have a look in here we've got loads of different things to sell different soaps as you can see over here like postcards necklaces like yeah so many different things and natural mosquito repellents body scrubs uh, like yeah loads of different things your body wash products and so forth that are natural and then in here we've got some like vegan granola bars vegan brownies vegan chocolate soy milk yogurt kombucha various other things as well and then here you've got vegan cookies chocolate ones and non chocolate ones and yeah this is the seating area in here which is really really nice but yeah really nice relaxing atmosphere and last but not least they've got things like teas in here and different types of like healthy salts and yeah many 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 different things so yeah let's go and order <laughs> The first thing has arrived, what we ordered, and what is it that we've got here? I don't know what it's called, pineapple soda? Correct, it, it is pineapple soda. like there's probiotic in it. Yeah, it tastes very pineapple-y, very strong. It's got a nice soda yeah, thing going on with it as well. But yeah, from what I'm aware of, it just seems like it's pineapple juice that has been freshly made added to some soda water. And I think mm. it's a really, really strong taste. But it doesn't taste like it's full of white refined sugar. And like a lot of juices that you can buy at places, which is good. It tastes very natural. What do you think of it? I like it a lot. It does taste fermented to me though, don't, don't you think? Well, apparently to her it does. And actually now I'm noticing it has a slight alcoholic taste to it that fermented stuff does. And they do do a lot of fermented drinks here, other fermented goods as well. So yeah, we're gonna get on, we're consuming the rest of this and then we wait for the food to arrive and then we show you that.
first off, we want to say sorry about the lighting. We're just doing the best that we can. We cannot bring our own lighting set up. Well, maybe we could, but yeah, we haven't done. Um, so what have you got? Creamy mushroom pasta. Uh, gluten-free version. Yeah, gluten-free fettuccine, and it's got soy milk in it, mushrooms, and some other things as well, which I'm unsure of. And then I've also got one here as well. As you can see, here yeah, we've got a noisy dog outside as well, trying to join in, trying to get famous on YouTube. And then what's the other dish we've got here? Just some good old-fashioned steamed veggies. Yeah, nice. And then I've got. A lovely, lovely burger here, as you can see. And for anyone wondering what burger this is, it is the black bean burger, which the patty is made from black beans and paprika, corn, cumin seeds. And I also got a double patty as well, which is just 40 baht extra for it. And I will put all the price of everything here in case you're interested uh, in how much this all costs. So yeah, we're gonna give this a quick taste, taste test, see what this one's like. The raindrops. Mm. Mm. Very, very creamy, mushroomy sauce, very strong flavor. Mm. Good gluten-free pasta, because not all gluten-free pasta is good. What do you think of it? I love it, so good. I like the, I think that there's miso in it. Yes, And I like is. that flavor. Mm. And saltiness. It's really nice. And then, but it's lovely burger, which is quite hard to eat because <gasps> it's very, very big. I've gotten this thing in the past and I cannot, yeah, put my mouth around it. I have to like take it completely apart and eat it. I'm taking the cucumbers out. I don't like cucumbers in my burger. Uh oh, it's raining. Oh, rain is coming through. Okay, yeah, it's like the rain, and the rain's coming through. <laughs> the roots that's on our head, well, above our head. The burger, really, like, it's not too dry, not too Ooh. soft. The sauce tastes like Big Mac sauce. I remember from years ago, I haven't ate that type of thing in years. Um, the bun is not like a really bad white refined bun. It's like more of a healthier bun. And yeah, it just tastes like really tasty, really flavorful, really good. And yeah, what we're actually gonna do is go and move inside in a short while. But well, yeah, that's what the patty looks like inside. Look. I've tried many burgers in Chiang Mai. The vegan, this is by far one of my favorite ones. Yeah, one, I agree. Of, one of the healthier ones, really high protein as well, which I love. High protein food. We're now inside, it actually is a bit of lighting in here. So, yeah, if I'd known that, I'd have actually started building in here, but I wanted to be outside rather than in a building. Because we're not going to let them. But, yeah, that's the way it goes. Just moving that out of the way. But, yeah, I really like the food. Very flavorful, high quality ingredients. Completely worth the price. It does say that some people complain about the price of people. Probably not that much at all. No, I've been in places that cost way, way more, and it's completely worth it. Right, you get what you pay for at the end of the day. So yeah, really, really, really good. And um, I don't have anything to fault with the food at all. The burger's falling apart, but what do you expect? It's <laughs> such a huge burger. And I really like the location and the atmosphere here, do you? Yes, I like it a lot. There's a uh, lot of cool stuff that they sell as well. Yeah, we just showed them earlier. And what would you rate this place out of 10? 10 being the best, 1 being the worst? Mm, 8.5. Mm -hmm. I would like there to be more variety of stuff on the menu, because a lot of it's like macro, macrobiotic, is that what you say? But yeah, it's a macrobiotic cafe, yeah. so that's just the way it is. Um, okay, and I give it a 9 out of 10. Trying to give a place a 10 out of 10 is always improvements they can make. Yeah. I'm not necessarily sure what they could make. Actually, the cheese, they could use better vegan cheese because mm, there are now yeah. places that sell way better cheese than what they use here. These burgers. So yeah, we're going to get on. We can enjoy the rest of this food. There'll be a link down below for 
Oh. This vegan restaurant. And yeah, it says it's 100% vegan, but we saw that actually sell honey, and there was one thing on the dish that yeah, said it was not thing. vegan. Yeah. So, it was a bit strange, but yeah. So yeah, got any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. If there's any places you'd like to make any reviews on in Shane White, let us know. We're going to make them for you as soon as possible. Make sure to share this with your friends, family members, anyone that may be interested in this. And make sure to click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when the videos are uploaded. And also, if you want to check out her channel, there'll be a link down below for it as well. I almost forgot to mention that. <laughs> so as always, enjoy the rest of the day, make the most of your day. And yeah, just have an amazing day all around. Peace.